Hi everybody, this is Nafish. In today's lecture, we are going to learn how can we resize an image in OpenCV. Okay, so first of all, we have to import CV2 as CV. And you know, if you guys haven't installed OpenCV, you can just do a pip install OpenCV Python. You can also use the Anaconda prompt. Okay, this is the command you should use, and you can you will be able to install OpenCV. Okay. I'm just silenting this line for now. So first import OpenCV and then uh, let's uh, import one of the pictures. So and I'm, I'm going to um, use the variable, let's say IMG and then cv.im and then you will see IM read and then uh, let's use the picture called sample image.png. This is one of the image I used in my previous example and you you can use either one or zero one is um, it will just give you the rgb image okay if you use zero it's going to be grayscale image so i'm going to run it and let's visualize that image so for that we have to write down cv.im and then again press tab and you'll see i'm show and then um you have to write down what what's the name of the window you are going to give it to the image so let's say um original and then um, the input is going to be IMG where we have the data and then um, CV dot wet key so basically you know I'm just going to provide input zero which is like you know wait indefinite amount of time till I do anything and then CV dot destroy all windows okay so let's visualize the image we're going to work on first so let's run this lines and here we have this is our image and we are going to resize this image using that resize func function in OpenCV. okay so i'm just for now just closing this window okay and now to resize that image you know first let's check out the size of this image so size and shape of this image okay so we have img dot shape and you can see we have 480 rows 640 columns and we have RGB so three color channels okay and the size is IMG dot size basically the multiplication of, of all these three and this is the number of uh, pixels we have in this image but for this resizing we don't need the size so we just need the shape and we are going to read out the shape okay so basically let's say we have height image height which is, which is the row basically refers to the row so img uh, dot shape and then reading out the first element right here 480 and then we have the width right so img dot shape and then we have one okay so we have the height and the width okay so let's run and now let's call the resize function so let's say cv dot resize and then when we are doing resizing we have to provide the input first which is img right img and then uh, we have to provide the height and width in a tuple but we have to remember like you know uh, it's going to be width first and then the height so like this okay and this is going to be integer number this is also something we have to remember okay so Basically, if we want to cut down the image to half, we can just divide by two, the width and the height. So the aspect ratio will be same, but the image will be half of the image we, we have showed before, okay? And then we have to have the interpolation, which is CV dot, so the default is interlinear, I think, right here, okay? So this is the interpolation we have. Interpolation is this guy. Okay, so basically, whenever we are resizing that image, whether upsampling or downsampling, you know, uh, we have to do interpolation, okay? Because here we are doing the downsample, right? So basically, we are dividing this parameter by two, this one by two, okay? And we have to then kind of calculate, you know, the new pixels of those rows and columns, okay? So that is why we need the interpolation. We have different types of interpolation, which I'm going to talk about later in this video, okay? But for now, we are just using uh, linear interpolation, okay? 
and then let's say the variable we're going to keep this image in is image half is this guy okay and let's run it and let's visualize this image as well uh, what we're going to do is copy this line where we we have showed the um, original image copy it right here uh, so we have the original image and then we are also going to copy this line and we're going to have this image half okay so image half so and let's re rename this one original this is half okay half okay so and then we can we don't need these lines anymore so we can just comment these lines okay and this one and let's run everything so you see we have two images one is the original image right here and this is the image where we have um this is the half of this image basically half means the half of the uh, pixels okay so the number of pixels is half in this this image okay we can also do another thing which is um, we can display this in matplotlib so import matplotlib.pyplot as tlt and let's say tlt dot we have to tlt dot im show i think and then we have img and then we also have img half right and we are going to have a subplot here so subplot two one one so two is the number of rows then one is the column so we're going to create two rows one column and this is the first image and then copy it put it right here and this is going to be the second one okay and this let's run it i have to close this one first because this is this comment is waiting for me so let's close those and this is not defined why is that uh because i didn't write plt dot subplot okay so plt dot subplot okay let's run it okay so we see two images here and you can see in this y-axis and the x-axis this is the original one and the pixels got half right here okay you can see like from 400 the scale comes to 200 and this is 300 coming from 600 right uh, but one thing you can see here the color got changed remember we had a different color here right here i'll just show you again and when we are doing this plotting here in matplotlib the color got changed this is because in matplotlib i'm just going to write it down for you guys uh, in opencv the color uh, order is bgr so blue green red but in matplotlib it is rgb which is quite common okay so we have to convert this one okay to do the conversion what we can do is cv dot cvt which is convert color and then the input is the image and then we have to do cv dot caps color uh, i think uh, caps color then bgr to rgb gr to rgb right here okay we got it so this is the command we have to use and let's copy the same thing and paste it for the half image okay and here the input is image half right so let's convert this okay and you see we have gotten the the original color okay but the pixel is half in the second image so let's so this is the way we can half it down but we can also multiply and make the image larger right in that case we have to interpolate the pixels you know right now we have these pixels but it's going to be double down so that is why you know we have to uh, inter do interpolation to find out those those pixels right so this is a multiplying here and i think this is the half image right so let's uh, change the name image double and then this is also let's change it to double and here I think I haven't provided any 
uh, any title for this guy so just changing the variable name okay it should work let's run everything okay i think there is some issue here um oh sorry this is multiplication only right i did this square so let's run it out okay so this is our original image but you still see this is didn't work this double image let me see why is that so this is what we have then image double resize multiplying that oh i didn't change the variable name right here right so double and then let's so for the best this time okay so i think i have to restart the kernel and then run everything from beginning okay so we have the original one and then we have the double image where we have the large you know we have created a large image right here double of the size of the pixels here okay and we got those additional pixels by interpolation as i keep mentioning again and again okay so let's go into the next phase so we talked about interpolation and there are a couple of methods of interpolation available but going to give you an example from a really simple data set okay so this is the line we used for the resizing of image and let's talk about interpolation right now okay so import numpy as np and you know i'm importing in numpy because i'm just going to give you an example from a like you know from simple numbers okay so import numpy as np and then np dot a range let's say numbers from one to nine and then let's visualize the numbers so one to nine there are nine numbers and then reshape it so going to get a three by three matrix right here okay so you see the value starts from one ends at nine there are three columns and three rows right three and three three columns three rows so let's use the interpolation here okay the, rather than interpolating the image we'll just see how the numbers look like if we interpolate this this matrix to a four by four okay so just erasing this part okay so here just going to have the input is let's give a na name to this variable let's say this is kk okay and then so the input is kk and it's going to be a four by four as i mentioned four by four matrix and we're going to use linear interpolation okay let's see the values oh i didn't run this line so that's why that's giving me an error mm why is that oh okay i have to define because define it as a float okay so kk dot s type is nothing but float okay this has to be here okay so you see why we need a float because the numbers we are interpolating interpolating is not going to be the the numbers we saw before right it was whole numbers but now we are going to get float numbers right so we can also do a five by five if you want so five by five okay or six by six why we're doing six by six because remember the image we doubled one times so right so when you are doubling that image you're basically interpolating the other three rows and three columns right so there are other interpolation method this is a linear one and this is the one we use by default but there is something else cause like if you press cv dot and then you know press tab you and you know write down inter you can see all these interpolation interpolation linear let's interpolation nearest okay let's look in cubic let's look into the cubic one okay and let's see how the values look like okay for the cubic interpolation interesting because it's starting from 0.5 you know but you know for linear interpolation the first element is always the one we had in the matrix but for the cubic one it's going to starting from 0.57 that is something you should look for why is it's doing that but you know it is also going over the last element like we had nine but it is going over nine so there are different you know uh methods as well like i may i showed other ones but you know uh, and there are some pros and cons which one to use and which one not to use but uh you know for this uh lecture like i just wanted to show like how can we interpolate it okay so from a three by three matrix we are doing a six by six so basically 
when we are resizing the image and doubling it up the number of pixels we are just doing the same thing okay these numbers okay so let's visualize uh let's run this this one where we are doubling that image so image this guy where we, we are doubling it using linear interpolation and then use cubic interpolation okay this is inter and then cubic okay and let's see how the images look like okay um, also need to write down cv dot wait key and just going to wait forever until i close it and then cv dot destroy all windows and let's see the these two okay i i also need to um i think i'm missing this that cv dot image show right cv dot i am show and then the input is image double we have to change the name here let's say image this is linear interpolation like right linear this is the name that's going to pop up in the window the title and then the input is image double right okay put it right here let's change this name as well let's say um, interpolation linear il okay so il okay and then this guy image uh this is interpolation cubic i see right so have this guy right here so we need to copy this one and paste it here this is ah, i see okay so let's run this cell so we have image linear right here and then where is the other one other one is not popping up because probably i'm not doing anything here in this line so i l i c i l i c okay i didn't change the name right here so it's going to be image cubic in cubic interpolation right let's run it now oh i have to close this guy first okay so we have the cubic and we have the image linear okay so this is the linear one and this is the cubic one 